Hi everyone, welcome to another Enembotronics tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're going to be discussing arrays. What are they? Uh, an array is a collection of variables that are accessed by their index number. And I'll be showing you what I mean here in just a minute. I'll show you how we can declare the variables. And there are several, several different ways we can. We're going to make integer variables and we're going to go my num and there's our variable so we created our variable and here's our integer we have to tell it how many elements are going to be in this array so I'm going to put in say five five elements in the array and we can declare it like that leave it and we can uh, give each each element a value later on or we can do it another way we can leave this blank and the computer will automatically figure this out for us but we're going to give it the values so we're going to go two I want two nope I want four two eight one seven in there. So now when the computer reads this it's going to count the elements in the array and it's automatically going to assign it an index here of how many elements. And so it would be one, two, three, four, five. Then you can do that. Leave this blank and expand it later. Or what I mostly do is I give it a number right here know that we have five elements in there and then here give it the values or later I'll read a sensor and assign values to each element now uh, arrays are zero indexed which means that even though it says five here and we count out five when we go to uh, let's say that we we want to access this, so we would print. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a serial begin ninety six hundred. All right. Now let's say that we wanted to print out the fifth element. Uh, let's see. So we we'll go serial print ln. And then we're going to go my num, and we're going to go 5. Alright, now this will not work, because give it the, the fifth place. When I said that the arrays are zero indexed, meaning that they start at zero when they count. So this is the zero. This is one, two, three, and the fourth index number. So there's not a five in there. So when we go to print this out, five would be the number that's after this, and we just don't have one. So if you go four, we will get zero, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to print out four. Now let's try this real quick. We'll upload this. Oh. What have I got wrong? Oh, I forgot that. End of that line there. Oh, and I did that. Holy all kinds of mistakes. Alright, now let's see. This should print out 7 over and over and over and over. Let's take a look. 7. There we go. Because we start out at 0. Now if we were to take this down to 0, we will get 4 over and over and over. Zero, one, 
two, three, and that's four. So now that this is done, we should see four over and over and over. There we go. All right, now let's say that we wanna run through these. So let's create a for loop that will run through all the elements here, all five. So we're gonna make int x equals to zero. We're gonna do x has to be, oops, x has to be less than five. And we will increment this every time that it loops by one. So we give it an x plus plus. We'll open up our curly brackets and we'll go down below here and close our curly brackets. And let's see now. Uh, for x equals zero, this is going to start out at zero. So this works great with our array because our array is zero based. So what we can do is we can put x in here and this will loop through our array. So the first time it's going to be equal to zero. So we're going to print out my num zero and that would be this first element right here and then when it loops through the next time it's going to be x is going to be equal to one so it's going to be uh, the first element and we go right here or the number one element and here we go it's that one right there and then it will keep on going right down the line and it cannot be five because once or let me see one two three four five yep and once this number reaches four zero through four just ran through our five elements so when it equals five it's not going to run anymore and we should see this work perfectly let's do a uh, delay down here and we'll give it five seconds and that way we can see it looping through once and then pause and then looping through again. And you can do the same thing when you're reading your sensor. Instead of a serial print right here, you could put in the code to read your sensor. And every time it looped through, it would put a new sensor reading in each element. That comes in handy. All right, now let's take a look at this. It should loop right through. Waiting four two eight one seven four two eight one seven and that's our numbers here four two eight one seven all right and that is uh, our arrays they're not too hard you kind of have to think and follow along with this video you might have to watch it another time to get it and uh, but you will get it and they do come in handy. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, tell your buddies about it if they're into Arduino programming. Uh, thank you. Bye. Alright, real quick I wanted to show you how to uh, read a sensor and put the values into your array. So, here we would have... Uh, let me see, just like this, uh, five, and then here, down here, you're going to put the, give it the values for each element, and here you would go, uh, my num, doo -doo -doo, x equals, and then you would do, uh, digital read or whatever, analog read. We're gonna go with digital read and then your whatever sensor you're gonna be reading. And each time this loops through, it would assign a value to each element as it's going through. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching again. Uh, like and subscribe, please. Thanks, bye.